Hey everyone, uh, you know, we're here at uh, 4 before Petrol. Uh, we've got a V6 Commodore. And we're going to change the engine mounts. Getting to the top bolts from the top here. We've got one of the boys on the job. And uh, one of the other boys is hanging around. He's noticed this uh, these cables, these, you know, for the throttle and the cruise control. Two separate cables. I don't know why that was a bit bent down, whatever. But that needs to be sorted out because otherwise there'll be no air con soon. Have a look at that. Good spot. Anyway, here's the new engine mounts. We uh, got some eBay specials. Once again, Macta. We'll see if they're any good. Anyway, anybody use these? I'm sure there's people that have changed engine mounts on the Commodores. I think they're all pretty much the same. Common problem, whatever. Not something I normally do, but um, yeah. We're just gonna do a bit of maintenance for a bit of entertainment, a bit of show you what's going on. Um, basically these two, this is the downward side. This is, actually, let me get it right. Which way do they face? Yeah, they're like that. So they face down and these ones face up and I believe they're the same as each other. So left and right, same, same, different, same, same. There's two nuts sitting here. So I guess that means you've already got those two bolts off. There we go and have a look down there. You can see down there, the top of the engine mount. Um, is that grease or something on those or is that, oh no, a bit of Loctite so the nuts don't come, that's a good idea. So your engine doesn't fall out. That's good they put a bit of that on there, isn't it? You don't want your engine to fall out. Have a look down there, guys. Uh, straight down the middle of the picture, two bolts. So that's the top end of things, and that's where it bolts to the mount bracket on the side of the engine. So here we go down this side, lights, camera, action. We've got the uh, ARB work light there. How do you lock that ARB light? work light? Not beautiful. too beautiful. And just magnetically. 15 mil uh, spanner, get the two nuts off at the top, and then we'll raise the vehicle up and get underneath and complete the rest of the job, I reckon. The access, we've uh, got the top of the airbox off, whatever. You can have a bit of a look in the tunnel, have a look at that. See that throttle body there? That's the next thing that's going to get cleaned. It might idle a bit smoother. It's not too bad, but, you know, you've got to take the cover off for that. It's a separate job. We'll get to that while we're doing the inlet manifold and the valve cover gaskets and all that sort of thing. This is the engine mount job, right? So he's down there, see so that nut, one nut off. Does it look like you can access the other one all right? Mm, not with this spanner. No, okay. Somebody said, is this metric or imperial? And what was the answer? What did I say? It's a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for those allergies. So yeah, it's a bit of a mix, isn't it? Anyway, a lot of tools on the bench. This is just one bench for a bloody couple of engine mounts. Yeah, what are we doing here? Take the exhaust manifold, the aircon compressor, the starter motor, the steering rack. No, not quite. So we had, we haven't maybe got the right spanner and a lot of people are having a laugh that work on these are going, yeah, you need the right spanner to get to that bolt. So there's a bit of a spanner you need with an angle on it that we don't have at this workshop at the moment. But anyway, we can upgrade later. But the point is we pull the aircon compressor off, unplug it, three bolts, not that hard. And uh, pretty easy, actually, wasn't it? So yeah, if you've got a yeah. VX and you need to change your aircon compressor, of course, you'll need to disconnect those aircon pipes. We're not doing that. But two bolts at the front, one at the side. Straightforward. Don't forget to unplug it. But now what we're going to do, because we couldn't get to one of the bolts. Where is the bolt we can't get to? Oh, it's on the other side of that bracket, isn't it? Oh, man. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to unbolt these bolts. We're going to undo these bolts and take the whole bracket off the side and bring the whole thing out together. But of course, we're going to put a jack under it before we do that. So that's the way we're going to. All right, we're going up with our Joel's Garage hoist. We've cracked the three bolts loose on the engine mount mounting bracket to the engine. So we're going to take it up, take out the three bolts from underneath the engine mounts, the four bolts, not three. Four and a half ton, mate. Don't forget the discounts. Just say Anthony sent you. Anthony from 4 Before Diesel, the Prado guy, for your discount at Joel's Garage on your hoist. I've got other garage here as well. This jack, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that, low profile. What we're going to do now, we're going to take these, what is it, time for a smoke? It's time for a beer, a bit of both. Okay. Um, take these two bolts out. Take these two bolts out. All right. In there, a bit deeper, a bit dark. And then we'll bring the vehicle down. It's all just sort of sitting there. And we'll put the uh, okay. jack under the sump neat. We'll put our bit of timber there. You know, that's why there's a bit of timber you saw. We'll sit that there. And we can raise the engine up. We'll lift this whole engine mount out on the plate, swap it over, put our two bolts back on, drop it back in place, get all the bolts started up the top, make sure all these holes go through the bottom and put it all back together, mate. Piece of cake, mate. Three bolts are out. Beautiful. Let's see if that engine mount just lifts out like we hope it would. So back towards you at the top, if there's nothing else holding it, rather than lift it out, and then uh, with any luck, otherwise we're not lucky. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we know. We haven't done this before. A little bit more we should, maybe we should have watched a YouTube video. Oh, so we jacked it up a little bit more. This one's cactus. Look at it. Rubbish deterioration. All right, spin it around to the bolt we need to get to. I don't know how you'd gun that because you haven't got access okay. there. So this new one, that looks a bit better than looks a bit better than what the old one's going to be. Isn't it? Look, at Look at the comparison. Look like the height, the height difference. It's massive. Look at it. It's about 10 mil difference in height. If I hold that roughly flush at that side, about 10 mil difference. Massive collapse. What do you want to clean, clean the bracket? <laughs> Dreaming, mate. All right, let's get this one on there. Get those nuts back on there. Hold them, Beautiful. Hold them. That's it. Swap that over. Oh, this one was not collapsed. That's it's not, going to be harder to fit back in position. That's the right one. Yeah, it is. They're the same. Of course, it's the right one. Yeah, I think you've got a left and right, eh? Yeah, I think so. Right, yeah. Really? Let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's better. Can I look? Yeah. Pop it off. A video on this. So let's just see if there is a left and a right. Yeah, How the hell right. is yeah, that a left and a right, mate? They're both yeah, the same. Down there. <laughs> yeah, well, who, who put it in there upside down? Well, that was me. <laughs> Just put it the right way and put the nuts on. Don't worry about the guy that put it the wrong way. Beautiful, look at that. Nuts fit, bonus. Yeah, if it's pub time, it's over time. So you can put that light where you want if you need it. I'm just going to uh, see, see if it goes back in. As easy as it seemed to come back out. As easy as it came out, whatever, you know what I mean? position and if you've got to lift it up a little bit to put those bolts in even better that means we can drop it down beautiful all right get the three bolts back in here we go yeah i'm a, I'm a pretty good supervisor you're not, you're not a bad teacher Anthony. not a bad teacher yeah, yeah. just before yeah, you said i was a good, good teacher <laughs> <laughs> why, why am i a good teacher oh you're nice and relaxed you're not yelling and screaming under pressure. Can you hurry up, mate. The pub's waiting yeah. for us, mate. I'm hungry, mate. Somebody said they want a beer, beer, mate. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. What's this taking so long? Oh, I've got to sound angry. I've got to get more serious, don't I? Yeah, so they need to be nice and tight. We'll get the yeah. next one. We'll get the next one. It's going to be a long time before we get back to those to check or tighten those up. So let's just go a bit tighter than the last guy because I don't think we'll ever be taking these off again because even if we did engine mounts in another. 20 years, we're going to have that other spanner handy. We're going to go buy the tools. I don't even know if that angled spanner would have done it, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, there'd be something special you need yeah. for that. Hey everybody, let us know in the comments if you've done the Commodore engine mounts, what the special bloody tool you use, what brand, what part number, so people, if they need to do it and they watch this video, they can check the comments and go get the tool. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So that's too nice and tight. Here's another tip here, everyone. You do them nice and tight, then you go back and check the other two again in case in tightening this one, the other two somehow needed a little bit more. And it's like a double check thing as well. Were you gonna do that anyway? Or are you, are you thinking, mate, I don't need to do that. I did it that time. Yeah, it's looking pretty tight, mate. Just careful these cliffy you don't cut yourself. And plus the cliff. Remember, it's an old yeah, plastic right car as well. Yeah, 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 well, it's 22 years old. This, what, what year is it? Antique, Where's the plate? Yeah, it's in front of you. 01, it's 23. It's 22 years old. Club reg in what, three yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, it's got pension to reg. 377 bucks anyway. Bargain. Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> too much yeah. information. Okay, so we've got the uh, bracket back on, the compressor back on, the belt back on, top of the airbox back on. Happy days. We've still got to attend to this rubbing factor here. Did you put a zip tie there? Is that what happened? Yeah, but it didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, well, just a minute ago, it actually looked like it did because it was not sitting on, but anyway, it might be in a different position. It might have an even stiffer accelerator cable now. We've got to change that accelerator. It's a bit, bit of a stiff pedal. We'll put some lube down it, so something we can do. But anyway, and you tighten up the engine mount this time from the top. Okay, that's interesting. Something different. Then we just got to do the four underneath the nuts. We're going to put it up to that soon and wrap this up and have a look at the height of the engine. It should be very different. Up we go. All right, here we go. Beautiful. All done. Look at that. Look at the level of that engine now compared to before. Sitting up 
pretty well, you know. Remember there was no gap there? Anyone remember the previous videos on the Commodore, mate? On the Commodore. Yeah, it was all uh, sagged down a fair bit. And that was, I reckon, was that hitting? I reckon it was all, you reckon it was hitting? It would have been rough. So it'll be a smoother ride now without um, that vibration. But yeah, it's definitely, you can see the level. It's uh, much more how it's meant to be. Common problem. There you go, that's changing the engine mounts on the VX Commodore. Like I said, the tool we didn't have is to get to the bolt, there's a nut on the inside Helps just there. The but in behind, right behind there, you can see the top of the nut in the picture, can you? Right, you can see it, just up right in the middle of the picture there. So you need something to get up there, or you need to do what we did, and it's not that hard, but there's a couple of compressor bolts at the front, the top, around the back, around here, whatever there's. So that one up the top there for the compressor, just don't disconnect the pipes, don't undo the wrong bolt. Anyway, if you learnt something, good on you. Hit the like button. If you uh, don't want to miss the next one, subscribe, turn the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.